soybeans. We do grow soybeans. Put an example here of not letting the weeds get ahead of you. This past year, we lost about half of our crop because the pigweed, we had lined a roof up to come in and pull pigweed. Has anybody in here ever had the joy of pulling pigweed? You, if you haven't, you're all invited back here. <laughs> We're going to have a pigweed party. Um, now we got some big men pig. here. I don't think any of them are man enough to pull these pig <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I'll roast pig and feed you and everything else. Um, but the pigweeds here has got that much taller. They were set to come on Monday. Something happened and they didn't show up. They said they'd be here the next Monday. They didn't show up again. And that's what happened. Wow. So this was the end result. The thing came. is, in time, they get much larger than that. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> You know. It's wild. It's fast. And so, Jimmy said we got some really good green manure. <laughs> uh, but this so is just, a beautiful crop of soybeans. Yes. Yeah. This is our, our other, the rest of them that we did save. And this is this crop we actually fertilized with some of uh, Mike Smith's compost oh, yeah. fertilizer um, and uh, biodynamic sprays. So it, we had a really, I mean, the plants were really tall. They got taller than normal. We had a, we averaged 40 bushels per acre, which was really good for, for us with organic. And with our peanuts, we averaged 4,000 bushels per acre, which, I mean, 4,000 pounds per acre. I'm sorry, <laughs> talking too fast. Uh, which was really good. It, it's comparable with, I saw South Carolina's average yield last year was 32 something. So I know we beat them. I don't know what Georgia was. <laughs> what, what variety are you of the peanuts? The Georgia 06. Okay. It's a really sweet peanut, and I do have some samples for y'all to take with you after the. But right now, I'm not going to waste much more time. I do need to introduce some of our dignitaries I see in here. <laughs>